a stray. She's a pit bull mix. She's actually probably close to what, what, what would be called a Staffordshire Terrier. All pit bulls are derived from Staffordshire Terriers. That's the original breed. So she's much closer to what a Staffordshire Terrier is. All pit bulls are actually mixed breeds, believe it or not. They're all derived from these types of dogs and some from Mastiffs and things of that nature. Panda's a very, very good dog. She has no aggression whatsoever. She's actually quite afraid of cats. When she came in, she was very hyper and um, didn't have a whole lot of training. We've been working with her for the last couple of weeks and we've got her doing a lot of fun little tricks. Let me grab some treats and I'll show you what she's already learned up to date. This is just in a few weeks that we've had her. Just to kind of show you what it's like when you have a dog, it's a lot like a car. You um, get out of them what you put into them. She's already sitting, I'm not even giving her command, she knows to sit already. Come here, Panda, come, sit, stay. That's just in a couple of weeks, just spending about 15 minutes a day with her. Two weeks ago, she had none of that kind of training. She's a fantastic dog, and like I said, if you want to have a happy, healthy pet, you just got to put the time in with them. Any dog is trainable. Any dog can uh, learn and become a great asset to your family, become a, quite a family member. She's a really good dog. She roll over? You want to roll over? You're silly. You're a silly dog. And always remember, never, ever, ever train your dog with your hand or a newspaper. They do not respond to that. All you ever teach them with that is fear. Positive reinforcement is the best way to go. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Come here. Come here, sit. You sit. That is a good girl. That's a good girl. All dogs are trainable, even the pit bulls. Panda's a good girl. She's a good girl. Yeah. This is Jasmine. She's a mixed Siamese. She's one of the many kitties we have here at the shelter. This is our cat room where the kitties are allowed to roam in and out as they please. Just like being at home. Kitty cats really need to be uh, kept like this simply because they're actually claustrophobic. They do not like being in closed spaces so it makes their little psyches uh, get all out of whack. One of the things that we get praised for all the time when we bring our cats out to places that our cats are very sociable. I think this really helps keep them sociable because um, they get a chance to interact with other kitties and they get to go in and out as they please. So it's, being at an animal shelter here is not a bad gig for a kitty cat. It's just about the same as being at home with somebody except for the fact that they have to share their house with about 20 other, 30 other friends. But otherwise, they're pretty good and content. And I welcome the public to come here and sit up in here with them like this, even if they're not looking to adopt. Just come sit with them because kitties need to be rubbed and touched. They need to be stimulated all the time. That's what keeps them happy and healthy. Hmm, See, that's what keeps us happy and healthy. They need the attention. They're actually social animals. They like to pack together. So if you only have one kitty, consider getting another one because they prefer a friend. Even though they don't think so right at first, give it a week, trust me. Hmm. Yes. For more information about all the adoptable animals at the shelter, or to find out how to volunteer or donate, log on to the website at www.stcharlesparish-la.gov slash animal control or call 985-783-5010.